What is up you guys? We're out here again. Um, just wanted to come out today. As I'm sure everybody's aware, the world is kind of like in a weird, a weird state this week, man. Everything kind of just feels out of sorts with this whole uh, COVD-19 epidemic that's going on, or pandemic, I should say, is what they declared it. Um, everybody's kind of really uh, panicking and pretty fearful in the city that I live in. But uh, one thing that always cheers me up and brightens my day is getting out into some fresh air. So I wanted to do that today. I've been pretty, uh, pretty cooped up just to try to keep me and my family safe for the past couple of days. So I wanted to get out and get some fresh air and get behind my camera and just enjoy life, you know? Don't let, uh, don't let fear take hold over all the things that I enjoy. So I wanted to get out and just live my life and just trust that everything's gonna be okay. Um, we're actually at one of my favorite spots that I come here during the winter. This is actually right in the middle of the city in the Rio Grande uh, uh, State Park area. So we're right in the middle of the city. Um, these are some waterfowl management ponds that we're at. And uh, right when I walked up, actually, I would have filmed this way sooner, but right when I walked up, there was actually an osprey um, perched in this tree. And you guys will probably see that right now, but I had never seen an osprey. <laughs> um, perched over here I'd seen bald eagles hawks you know like small falconry type of stuff you know smaller birds of prey but never an osprey it was crazy so I, I basically just went straight to shooting right away I got my camera out and I started recording it's just as I didn't want to miss it you know who knows when he's gonna be here next <laughs> I was actually just looking up in these trees over here, you guys, and we found something else. Let's see if I can get it in frame so you can actually see it. There we go. There's a, oh, you can't see it because of the reflection, but there's a wood duck couple actually up in that tree. There you are, you can see them right there. See them both right there? Male and female wood ducks. That's why they call them wood ducks, actually, because they like to hang out in trees instead of the water like every other kind of duck. It's kind of cool. Really cool, man. Let's get some video for you guys so you can actually see them up close.
I'm recording this one because I'm honestly not sure what it is. <laughs> um, it came out of the, the reeds over here and one thing that's really um, elusive in this location is marsh wrens. And I thought for a second maybe it could be a marsh wren just because it was behaving like one. Um, but I don't think it is. I think it's a, some sort of sparrow. It kind of looks like a crown sparrow, like an immature crown sparrow. I'm not sure. Um, I'm gonna have to double check for this on this one for sure. But I was hoping that he just flew away. I was hoping that it is a, a, a wren species, but we'll see. Either way, that's a new one. That's gonna be three for the day, so let's keep going. Check out the geese over here, you guys. These guys are like straight up fearless. You have runners and people bringing their pets and families and kids everywhere over here. So these guys are so used to people being close. And look how close I am. I'm literally right here with this goose and it's just like looking away, doesn't care. It's crazy. They're so used to human interaction. It's just like, they don't really fear. Which is kind of a bad thing, honestly, but. It's not really them we're after, it's the wild ones. And I hear something over there on the other side of the pond. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what it is. It sounds like a flicker. We haven't photographed that yet. So let's just go and try to make that our number four for the day. All right. Can you guys hear that? That it's one of the easiest ways to find birds out here honestly is uh at least when these geese aren't going crazy <laughs> is this listening for them like the rio grande area has so many different like birding opportunities just wildlife opportunities honestly you can find mammals reptiles amphibians everything out here and one of the easiest ways to find the birds if you're looking for them is just listen just listen for the different calls and you'll hear them everywhere. I mean, all this morning after this rain that we had yesterday, the birds have been just really, really active. So you can hear them literally everywhere. I can hear towhees that we don't have yet behind me. I can hear this guy. I'm not actually sure what this call is, which is why I'm looking for it. But finding the call is the easy part. Finding the bird is the hard part. So we're going to see if we can get a little bit closer and take a photo of whatever this guy is but really pretty cool it's <laughs> so cool I was chasing after that sound we just talked about uh, I ended up being a spotted towhee believe it or not the bird I was just talking about before I heard the sound and then I saw this guy up in the tree so cool man that's what I love about these telephoto lenses, man. They let you, they literally, literally get like right up in the tree with the birds, man. So, so like cool being able to see their, their world so close up, man. Let's get some video and some photos of this guy so you can see him in all his glory. <laughs> or her, actually. There's no red crest, so I'm assuming this is a female. But that's another new one. I'm guessing this is a hairy woodpecker. I'll have to get that confirmed, but pretty sure that's number four or five. Let's go. Well, I 
was right. <laughs> it was a flicker way up in that tree. But unfortunately, the geese deci decided to uh, just fight with each other like they're doing right now. And that dude spooked and flew off. But check this out. Let me show you guys it. Right in the tree next to where that flicker was. Look what's up there. Ooh, they just spooked too. Darn. I was hoping they wouldn't mind me getting close, but it looks like they did. Those two great blue herons, you guys. Check them out. I wonder if they were there when we walked by. Because I didn't see them up in that tree initially. That was so cool. We got those guys at BDA already. We photographed those guys so many times, but they're still so cool to see. It's nice to see them back here in the waterfowl management ponds. So, man, there are birds everywhere today. So we got to keep going while the getting is good. We're going to keep walking around. I think I'm going to move a little bit closer to the river. Um, see if I can get one of those spotted towhees today, man. I've never really had any luck. I'm not going to lie to you photographing those. Um, I don't think I have any photo of one that I'm honestly proud of, <laughs> but maybe today is our day. We've already got probably, I think, five species now to add to our list. So let's see if we can make it six. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> As per usual, that kingfisher disappeared, but I kid you not, guys, a hawk just flew into one of these trees over here. Literally, as I was just watching these, trying to get a video of these geese just going to town, somebody must have said something about somebody's mama because it went down over there. But let's go see if we can get this hawk real quick. I'm hoping he's in one of these close trees and not one of the far ones. Um, we haven't photographed any hawks yet in 2020, so let's go see. Well, that hawk wanted absolutely nothing to do with me <laughs> the moment I got even remotely close. Gone. But there is a reason why. There's a nest up there, guys. Like I said, those raptors are starting to uh, get their nest built or return to the nest that they, <clears throat> that they had last year and complete the circle of life, man. There's a, a group of Cooper's hawks that are actually nesting in my neighborhood. And I'm assuming this is probably the hawk's nest. I don't see anything in it at the moment. Um, it, I mean, the female could be up there on eggs. You don't really know. I mean, they, they lay so low on them sometimes to keep them warm that you can't even see them. So we're just gonna leave them alone though. We wanna make sure that we don't disturb any uh, nesting birds because we want that population to keep growing, keep growing strong. So we'll leave these guys alone wherever he went or she went and uh, we'll keep looking. Check that little guy out, guys. <laughs> I hadn't seen one of these on the on the water when we first showed up, but this guy was just popping up and down when I was watching those geese go to town with each other. That's a pied-billed grebe right there. Cool little birds. Smaller than your average waterfowl, but they can sure eat some big fish, let me tell you. Let me snap a couple photos and get a little bit more video of this guy for you guys.
these guys always make you shoot through like the worst possible like foliage though they, they like to hang out over here where the wind blows all these like reeds and logs up against the shore so you have to shoot through literally through the bushes to get a photo but worth it let's get some video What's up guys? So I'm just hanging out in this opening right here. Because I've been chasing this downy woodpecker, which is the smaller woodpecker. It looks just like the one we, we videographed and photographed earlier, except it's the smaller of the two species. I've been chasing that thing for like the past 30 minutes. Um, I know there's several in the area because I can see them flying all around me. I just can't get a shot. But there's a ton of bluebirds, um, white-breasted nuthatches and stuff flying around. There's that woodpecker right there, actually. Um, so I'm just kind of staying right here and seeing what's going to fly out into this open right here. Um, there's bluebirds and stuff flying down, so I'm going to try to get a little bit more stuff before we call it a day. Um, it's been a great morning, man. I can't really complain at all with what we've gotten so far. We've been able to add a, quite a few birds to the list for the year so far, so... Let's see what I can't get to uh, end the day. <laughs> well, I knew waiting was going to pay off in this area. I kept seeing a bird um, a few trees over flying in and out and coming back to the exact, exact same limb. So I just set my zoom to that limb. And sure enough, right when it landed, I realized what it was. It was a yellow rumped warbler, which is something we haven't even seen this year um, yet. Awesome. And then right after that, one flew right into this tree right here in front of me and I got the I got the shot guys <laughs> unfortunately I wasn't able to snag any video just this short clip I'll, I'll show you right here of it literally just hopping away out of the camera frame but still that's a new one for us man we got the photo so we're gonna see if we can uh, muster anything else together here in the last couple minutes and then we're gonna head out it's starting to get a little a little breezy and cold out here and my allergies are actually starting to act up now that I've been out here and everything's starting to bloom so it's been great though man I can't I can't complain with a morning like this I love coming out right after like a heavy rain because it seems like all the all the birds are just out and about and talking and just so easy to find compared to other days so let's keep going for another couple minutes and we'll see what we get that's it for me today you guys I've officially broken down the camera and that usually means that it's it <laughs> uh, I kept looking didn't find anything else actually that's a lie I did see a wren um, that I tried to take a photo of and of course as soon as I raised my camera gone um, but that's the way it works man I can't complain though today was today was awesome uh, we saw plenty of birds we got photos of plenty of birds video of plenty of birds and as usual we saw plenty of birds that we couldn't photograph but that's the way it works so um big thanks to everybody that's been watching these videos and liking them and sharing them i appreciate it we're gonna be back again before you know it so i'm gonna try to try to get a video up every single week if i can it's a little bit hard though but i'm trying to make as much time as i can to get as many birds as i can this year and get everything that i want to do as far as you know big game mammals shed hunting and everything so if you like what you see then be sure to subscribe because this isn't going to be it there's going to be plenty more videos coming so until next time guys have a good one